But this is where we would uh, they put on our English cap because our guests will be with us today. Uh, they be foreigners. Uh, I could talk so because uh, themselves they're talking about from Portuguese and Angola. And that's a whole lot of mix. And our guest today, uh, our better artist. What you see for that uh, video, uh, Mr. Geraldson, uh, Israel. Now, be that we were all black, looking kajad, looking vibrant. Ah, yeah, you're yeah, welcome. You're yeah, welcome. You're yeah, welcome. Thank you. Yes, so and uh, bros, I beg no verse. What's your name? What's your name, bro? My name is Florito. Florito. Ah, nice, yeah. nice. I like that. I like that. Good Thank vibe. You. Good vibe. So uh, today, you guys are on one of the biggest shows in Nigeria because this is a live show, and uh, people are watching you from all across the country. And as you can see, so um, let's talk about uh, his music now. Why um, he decided to collaborate with Nigerian music? Well, they want to know why you managed to make this participation with Rema and why you made this music with Nigerians. Ah, I made this music with Rema because I like the music of Nigerians. I consume music of Nigerians for quite a long time. And... Também é, 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 é importante, tanto para mim quanto para, para a África, nesse caso, porque a ideia é unirmos os vários pontos de África para tornarmos a cultura africana ainda maior. So the reason why uh, he wants to collaborate with Nigerian mm -hmm. people and mm -hmm. with Nigerian music yeah. is because he wants to unite the African culture. Mm -hmm. It's very important that Africans come together and work as one mm -hmm. in order to to build the industry. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, good. Now, seeing the the, the the person you picked to do this collaboration with, Rema, is one of uh, also Nigeria's biggest exports sure. recently. Was there any reason why they selected Rema? Or it was just, uh, okay, let's look for a Nigerian who we can put on the song. Was there a particular reason why he selected Rema? Será que tem uma razão por trás dessa participação? Por que que eu escolheste o Rema? Rema, porque é meu amigo, porque nós... Desde o primeiro dia em que a gente esteve juntos no Dubai, tornámos-nos amigos e a nossa relação tem sido muito, muito afetiva. Um, tanto é que o Rema esteve no meu grande show em Angola e também ele convidou-me para passarmos o final de ano em Ghana juntos. Então, nós, além dessa simples participação, há uma amizade por detrás de tudo. Yeah, the, there's a reason why he picked Rema. Okay. He said, uh, besides just doing the music, mm -hmm. they're friends. Oh, good. Yeah, and they met in Dubai, and from the day they met, mm -hmm. the energy was on point. Mm -hmm. The vibes were right. And he invited Rema to Angola for his big concert. Okay. Rema went there, and Rema also invited him for, for New Year's okay. in, in Ghana. Okay. And that's how they connected. So he was like, okay, it's just right. I do a song with the guy because the energy is yeah, the energy is well, there. Right. All yeah. right. So looking at how Nigerian music is now in Angola, how is the how do people accept Nigerian music? How is it? How is it over there? Como é que Angola? Como é que os angolanos estão a aceitar a música nigeriana? Hoje, hoje Angola já aceita mais a música nigeriana. Tipo, antes era algo tipo, pronto. O pessoal ainda não tinha se conectado muito bem. Mas agora por causa de muitas parcerias, por exemplo, o Davido fez uma música com Preto Show, que é um músico angolano. Um, eu fiz uma música com Rema. Então, tipo, eles antes consumiam simplesmente música angolana, mas desde o momento em que os angolanos começaram a se conectar com os nigerianos, já se consome muito mais a música nigeriana. Tanto mais é que agora o álbum do Rema, o, o mais recente álbum do Rema, já chegou a ser o álbum número um em Angola desde o dia do lançamento. Yeah, and uh, Angolan people, like before, they were not really consuming much of Nigerian, Nigerian music, music yeah. Okay. Only after Davido did a song with one of an Angolan artist, Preto Show, mm -hmm. we started paying attention more. Okay. And after his collaboration with Rema, mm -hmm. we started listening more to Nigerian music. Mm -hmm. And also, Rema's album is like number one in mm -hmm. Angola. It's the most listened album too. Mm. In, in, in Angola. That's great, great. Now, what about the language barrier now? Is there a language barrier? The fact that, okay, uh, Nigerians speak English and uh, Angola, you can speak Portuguese also. So, is there a language barrier um, in composing the music together? Is there a language barrier? Now? Será que tem um, uma dificuldade da, da língua? Que, que Angola fala português, Nigeria fala inglês. Será que tem uma dificuldade em escrever música? Yeah, uh, ah. Há uma dificuldade, sim, mas uh, o que acontece é, nós, por exemplo, eu, tenho algumas noções básicas do inglês, né? conversações normais, básicas. 
Então, é o que acontece com muitos outros artistas que queiram fazer colaboração. Alguns já, alguns têm, alguns falam inglês fluentemente e eu, eu tenho essa debilidade, infelizmente, mas agora estou tô, tô a, a me dedicar para que eu consiga também falar bem inglês, para a comunicação ser direta. Yeah, mas a língua, de certa forma, línguas diferentes causam um, um certo impasse na comunicação, isso é verdade. Hmm. Yes, there is, there is a barrier mm -hmm. when it comes to, to languages, but there's few people that understand English. English. And he has some, some knowledge of English, like few words that he knows. It mm -hmm. makes it easier for him to, to write songs for Nigerian artists, but mm -hmm. it's very difficult. Okay, well, yeah. I, I, we can see from the, mm -hmm. the song that they had to come together to make this work and yes. you know so so tell us about this song uh how did the uh composition of this song come about why did you decide to do this song and what's it about tell us about that uh tens de começar tens de falar tipo por que que fizeste essa música como é que começou a composição como é que foi a criação ok e essa música ok esta música foi algo que surgiu no momento nós tivemos dubai com rema ele Uh, criamos a ideia de fazermos uma música e estivemos num estúdio com, com um instrumental do, 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 do MZ, um produtor angolano. Então, neste beat, o, o Rema entrou no aquário e começou a criar a vibe. Então, a música foi baseada na vibe que o Rema criou. A um, uh, música foi criada em Dubai, foi okay. uma normal vibe. Eles entraram no estúdio, eles pegaram beats. O beat foi produzido por um angolano produtor, MZ. Okay. So Rema picked the beat and Rema just went straight to the booth, started creating melodies from there. He, he wrote and that's how the, the song came about. Hmm. Hmm. So it was, it, was, it was a vibe of it the moment. Vibe. Let's yeah, just moment. create yeah. good vibe and good yeah. music. Okay, so as, as an artist now, how long would you say has, he has been doing this music? How long has he been in music? And uh, some, can you just tell us some little challenges? Because here in Nigeria, the new artists will say, okay, finance it's expensive to do music so in angola how is it as is it that way or is it easier to make music in angola than you know ele sabe quanto tempo tu estás no mercado e se teve dificuldades porque aqui na nigéria os 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 novos cantores têm dificuldade de finanças de dinheiro e tudo qual qual é o fator de dificuldade yeah é verdade a minha maior dificuldade foi foi financeira né porque eu eu sou do interior, né, do, do, do gueto, é, então financeiramente eu tive muitas dificuldades até ser o que sou hoje. E eu já estou no mercado, hoje já, já estou no mercado a fazer sucesso já há quatro anos, mas antes eu não, não fazia sucesso nenhum, eu tive que sair de onde eu vivia, me mudar para a capital para eu poder ir atrás dos meus sonhos. Atrás dos meus sonhos. Não foi fácil. Mas hoje, graças a Deus, já sirvo de motivação para muitos jovens que estão na mesma situação. Yeah, it's, it's, it's in the industry for a long time now, okay. but it's, it's, it's mainstream for four years now. Four years. Yes, okay. four mainstream. years ago, that's when, okay. like, everybody knew about him. Okay. And he had difficulties, of course, when he started, mm -hmm. finance as well. Mm -hmm. So he had to move, for if, because he, he comes from the, from the north side of Angola. Okay. So he had to go to the capital in order for him to chase his dreams. Okay. So that's where the difficulties were, like to get finance, sponsorship, but thank God he got that. Mm -hmm. People that supported him and mm -hmm. it's been in our industry for four years. Mm. So how's the, um, for collaboration in Angola, um, with the, um, you know, the A-list artists, the really big ones and the fast rising artists, is collaboration really easy for, you know, the artists to do with each uh, other? Collaboration, the participation. Dos que estão a começar agora e que estão em cima. Será que é fácil os que estão embaixo fazer música que estão em cima da elite? Uh, uh, não, assim, nós começamos a, começamos a. Já estamos a mudar esse quadro, porque antes não era mesmo fácil, era difícil. Tanto mais é que eu já, já corri atrás de muitos artistas, já com muito base, para tentar uh, consolidar a minha carreira, mas infelizmente não tive sucesso nisso. E como eu, houve vários artistas que tentaram fazer isso, mas infelizmente não tiveram sucesso. Hoje nós já estamos a tentar abrir isso, nós que já estamos no mercado e já temos uma visão diferente, vamos dando oportunidade a, outra, a, a outros jovens que sempre tiveram o sonho de estar onde a gente está. Yeah, uh, back then it was very difficult, mm -hmm. it was like worse. Oh. The upcoming artist to get to the, to the elite yeah. uh, artist was very difficult, mm. but now the elite artists are actually changing the mindset, okay. because the, the youth is actually changing the sound, mm -hmm. it's easier now for an upcoming artist to get hold of the elite. Artists. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. Um, that's basically what's happening here also in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. that, okay, they're trying to connect better. Now, let's talk about... Now, you've been... How long has, 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 have, you, have you been in Nigeria? How long has One it been in Nigeria? One temple, Nigeria? Two. Two, yeah, two days. Two days. Two days. Two days. Yeah. Oh, yeah. two days. Okay, so yeah. what... Uh, how has it been? How has, has it been enjoying... No, 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 let me Nigeria. correct him. It's not two days, four no, days. It's four, four days. days. Yeah, this is the days. fourth day. This is the fourth day in Nigeria. Yes. Okay. So what would you say is the first thing that caught his attention when he okay. got into Nigeria? What was the first thing? The first thing that Nigeria. The culture, the climate, and the logo that we have to go to the airport, I felt like I was in Angola. It was like I was in Angola. It's the same thing, the same culture, the same climate. É, é, as pessoas um, até as pessoas parecem do mesmo tipo, há, há, não há diferença a África é uma coisa é, única tipo eu até comentei com, com vocês com as pessoas que estavam comigo eu disse a África é a mesma coisa tipo já nós somos o mesmo povo irmãos é tudo a mesma a mesma cena tipo yeah, não, tive, first... não tive a impressão de que eu estava longe de casa é como se eu estivesse em casa yeah, the first thing they caught his attention is like the, the weather and the people. As soon as okay. they landed mm -hmm. and he left the airport, mm -hmm. the, the way people welcomed him here, mm. he felt like he was at home. The weather mm. at, back home is also like that. It's also like yeah. that. Okay, yeah. nothing mm -hmm. different. No, the nothing. It was everything. Yeah. Was, yeah. Okay, so have you, has he eaten any of our foods, Nigerian food? Comer comida da Nigeria? Comer, I eat uh, uh, jollof rice. Jollof rice. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Jello it's rice crazy. is always famous for visitors or you know people yeah. who are coming to Nigeria. Did you did you enjoy jello rice? Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Such jello rice? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Okay. Now let's talk about our our, our, our ladies. The problem is so. The problem is so. They they put a lot of jindungu. They say the the food is nice, but the problem is too much pepper. Too much pepper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I get that. Too much pepper. You know, yes. A lot of Nigerians, a lot of people who they face that same issue. Yeah, because yeah. back home we don't eat too much pepper. You don't like eat too much pepper no. in yeah. Angola. Oh. In the moment, for those who are not accustomed to eating with much jindungu, they have problems when they go to the bank. They said people that are not used to they are eating pepper yeah. later on get problem when they go to the loo or. Yeah, you know, that happens. That happens. <laughs> yes. So I'm, I'm sure from now we'll just tell you, please. Uh, eat wisely because yeah. this because what can happen mm -hmm. yeah now let's speak about our nigerian ladies because i know that he is he's a good looking young man and as yeah. he came into nigeria he must have seen a few of nigeria but what does he think about the nigerian ladies has he met a few só pelo facto de elas serem africanas uh, são top tipo não não africanas têm tem uma característica única e e, e, e até uma característica similar desde o rosto ao corpo desde o rosto ao corpo e yeah, a top então eu, eu senti isso e eu, eu vi eu até comentei com com, com o pessoal que estava comigo eu disse uau wow, que tem a mais bonita yeah. He said the fact that Nigerian ladies are African yeah. makes them beautiful. Mm. And even when he got here, he was like, yo, guys, Nigeria is a beautiful woman. From huh? the face, from the body, everything <laughs> perfect. Shout out to our Nigerian women, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> shout out, shout out, shout out. Oh, when are they try, when are they try, when are savvy. Okay, so now let us um, yeah, to talk about what to expect from him. M music moving forward. You've done a good collaboration with Rema. We see it in this video dance. Mm -hmm. So are we expecting more collaborations with Nigerian artists or moving forward? What can we expect from you? We have this participation with Rema. What can we expect from you? We have three participations with other Nigerians. Okay. So how? Eu, yeah, depois dessa música eu tenho tenho muito a dar. Uh, tenho mais participações com, por exemplo, agora já tem tem uma música com tem uma música com Oxlade mm -hmm. já foi gravada e e já estamos a tentar ver forma de fazermos o vídeo. Tenho colaboração com vários artistas que falam comigo, falamos normalmente, somos amigos e depois, com o tempo, iremos fazer colaboração. Neste exato momento, tem a música gravada. Além da música com o Slade, tem a música com, com Ray Vani, from Tanzânia. Tem a música com, 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 com Harmonize, com The Boy. E agora uh, já estamos a conectar também muito bem com, com a Tene, Show Boy. 
Yeah, e tantos outros artistas que nós temos uma relação muito boa e de certeza futuramente irá sair participação. Yeah. Juntos. Mas primeiro tenho que aprender a falar bem inglês para não complicar. Yeah. A <laughs> okay, uh, from moving forward, yeah. we'll be releasing uh, new music, okay. new collaborations, mm -hmm. and he's working on songs with Oxlade, oh, which is preparing great. for the video. Great. Okay. And also he has a song with Tanzanian artist, mm -hmm. which is uh, Harmonize okay, and uh, Rayvani. Mm -hmm. And he's also preparing something with Tenny and Joe Boy. Oh, great. Yeah. Great, great. Mm -hmm. These are good collaborations. Yeah. Great, great, great collaborations. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, well, I believe that uh, we've seen the amazing video by our very, very uh, special guest today. And uh, we've been talking so much about his music and how he's been um, feeling being in Nigeria. Has, uh, has he been to Nigerian clubs? Has he gone out? Uh, Jeff Fushton, uh, like not yet. Not he, yet. He's no. going out tonight. You're going out tonight? Uh, yeah. yeah. It's going to be oh, a Friday so. shut down. <laughs> He's having a, um, a listening party listening later party. on. Yeah. Okay. You guys are invited as oh, well. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, where is it happening? Where is he listening? At uh, Living Lounge. Okay. Okay, that's good, yeah. that's good. We will probably see how we'll come through. We'll probably see how yeah. we'll come through to chill. Then maybe you can en enjoy the Nigerian mm. club life. You know, yeah. Nigerian club life. Well, it's good talking to you, uh, Geraldine Israel. Okay. And uh, we're hoping that if you started, uh, we can get more collaborations, more Nigerian collaborations, more international collaborations, and we get to hear more okay. of your music. So uh, for people who can uh, want to follow him on social media, what are social media handles, Instagram, Twitter, all that, how can they follow him? Uh, I'm to me a Instagram, Geraldson, underscore, or Mr. X boyfriend, yeah, Mr. X boyfriend in Instagram, or in Facebook, Jerusalem Israel. Okay, you can Israel. Follow him on Instagram, mm -hmm. which is Jerusalem Inter Israel underscore. YouTube. Mm -hmm. On YouTube is Jerusalem Israel. Mm -hmm. On Instagram is Jerusalem underscore Israel. Mm -hmm. So you, you spell it as G mm -hmm. uh, E R I L S O N mm -hmm. underscore I N S R a-L-E-E-L. -E. Okay. It's okay. Israel. 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 Yes. So that's for Instagram and Facebook. And, and YouTube. Right. So, so if you guys want to follow, go there, follow him, listen to good music, get good information, follow these his pages. So yes, let's know that the Nigerian energy, we're putting it in good use because it's entertainment all the way. All right. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very you much. Too. We appreciate your time. Yeah, we appreciate your time. It was really good. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you, I do really always wear black because I like black a lot. So I want to know, are you always, like you know, you, you like black? I preto porque ele gosta de preto. like black? I gosto. Eu, eu uso outras cores, mas a minha favorita é preta. Yeah, he likes wearing black. Yeah, but yeah, he wears yeah. other colors, but his favorite is black. It's black. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that. I like that. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Yeah. <laughs>